Headphones! Hey guys, it's Jeremiah here, back again with another video. So today we will be taking a look at headphones. So over here on my right, you can see I have the Bay Dynamic DT990 Pro. This is an open back model. And on my left here, I have the Bay Dynamic DT770 Pro. This is a closed back model. So the main topic today will be open back versus closed back. And hopefully this video will give you an idea of which headphone will be better suited for your needs. So let's get right into it. All right, so let's break down the headphones. First, I have here the Bay Dynamic DT770 Pro. As you can see, it comes with really nice velour ear pads. And the ear cup is completely solid. Um, it is covered. And what this means is that it will provide you with better isolation. And so this is the first key point. If you are looking to get isolated um, playback, go for a close back model. Um, if you're recording in a studio, you definitely want to use uh, these types of headphones because you do not want the music that you are listening to to bleed into the condenser microphone that you're probably recording on. Another instance where you might find this useful is if you are on a train or if you're in a public area, um, going to work, um, maybe just like doing some work as well. You want a pair of close back headphones to block out the noise around you as well as isolate the music inside your headphones. Um, the last thing you want is to play back your music at a pretty nice volume but have everybody around you in the coffee shop staring at you because they can hear the music that you're listening to. Okay, so over here we have the Bay Dynamic DT990 Pro. Um, these are the open back models and this is my personal pair that I use almost every day. Um, as you can see here, with the grille design and the open um, perforated back of the cup, um, this means that there is more airflow that can enter in and out from the headphone as you are listening to music. Um, this means do not use this on a train if you do not want people to listen to what you are listening to on your um, playlist, on your Spotify. Um, if you are using this at home, however, or if you're using this in a recording studio or working on your own personal projects, um, this is a very good choice if you want really good quality sound. So, um, there are a lot of opinions on whether you should go for an open back headphone or a closed back headphone if you're doing maybe, let's say, mixing, recording, producing. Um, one thing to take note that if you're working on long periods of time in the studio on headphones, you want to take into account how long you're wearing them for because you do not want your judgment to be affected by the headphone. If you're wearing a pair of closed back headphones, what happens is that there are a lot of internal reflections and the bass is generally a bit more enhanced on the cans due to the nature of the isolation. So do remember to take breaks frequently when you are working on these pair of headphones. Um, for the open back headphones, I find myself personally being able to work on them for a bit longer periods of time. Um, mainly this is due to the fact that there is a bit more ventilation in the headphone, um, there's a bit more airflow, so it doesn't get so heaty as opposed to when you're wearing a closed back headphone. And I find that the sound stage on the headphones are a bit wider. Um, I can really tell if things are in the left side or the right side um, when I'm doing the mixes. So overall, I would personally use these for mixing and mastering and I would use these for recording. Okay, so over here, I do have another pair of headphones and this is the Bay Dynamic DT880 Pro. Now, um, the reason why I brought this headphone out is because I wanted to show you guys um, this model is a semi-open headphone and it is sort of the middle ground between an open back and a closed back headphone where you do get a bit of airflow like the open back um, but it's generally a bit more isolated like the closed back headphone. Now, why would you pick um, the semi-open back headphone um, for your needs is if you prefer the sonic character of a semi-open back headphone. It usually is an open back headphone with a bit more isolation and you do get the disadvantages of the open back headphone where although you do get the wider sound stage compared to a closed back, um, you will have sound leaking out to um, the public um, as you are listening to these pair of headphones. Okay, so after that brief comparison, let's go into if you should pick an open back headphone or a closed back headphone for your needs. 
Now, a small disclaimer here. If you are listening to music and if you are looking for a headphone for the best music listening experience, I would recommend you to not pick the headphone based on if it's an open back headphone or a closed back headphone model. The way you should pick your headphone um, if you're listening to music and if you want the best listening experience is to actually test it yourself. Um, and this is the way I did pick up this Bear Dynamic DT990 Pro from the local store Music Bliss. Uh, great store, by the way. If you are looking for a pair of headphones, what you should do is you should create a playlist of your very um, familiar songs that you have been listening to for quite some time, um, that you know very well, and go to your local store. Um, that could be Music Bliss. And just pick a headphone and test it out and see if you like the sound. Um, I picked up the Bayer Dynamic DT990 because I tested this, uh, compared it with a few other headphones um, within that price range, and I found like this gave me the best quality sound um, that I was looking for uh, with the songs that I was familiar with. I had a whole playlist, I went through the playlist, and after about an hour or so, I decided that this was the headphone right for me. Each headphone will have its own different sonic character. You have so many different brands besides Bay Dynamics, such as Sennheiser, AKG, Audio Technica, just to name a few. Um, and it is really important, um, since you are paying a good amount of money, to get the best listening experience to actually test the headphones first before you decide to purchase them. If you are looking for some specific um, functions, whereas if you're looking for like a recording headphone, you would definitely consider a closed back model purely because it gives you better isolation. You, the last thing you want is for your music playback to leak into the condenser microphone as you're recording a vocal take. Uh, this makes your mixing life a lot harder than it really needs to be. You want to make sure that your sound source is as clean as possible. So if you want clean sound source um, when you're recording vocals, definitely go for the closed back model. Now, on the flip side, if you are doing mixing or mastering and if you're working on perhaps post audio, you definitely want to go for an open back model. The reason for that being is that you will get a bit more airflow, you get more ventilation, you can work on it for longer periods of time. I find that I can work on this for about an hour before I do take a break. Um, you will also get a wider sound stage and you won't get so much of the bass buildup um, that you would get in a close back headphone. So this is my headphone of choice purely because I do more mixing and mastering at home. Another thing to take note, and I cannot stress this enough, is you will need to consider the headphone impedance value of your headphones. Both of these are 250 ohms. Um, they are considered high impedance headphones. And if you want to check out another video I did make uh, previously on the headphone impedance values, um, you can click over here. You can check out that video that I did. Um, I did highlight between um, the three different types of uh, headphone impedance values. You will need to take this into account when you are picking your gear, um, perhaps an audio interface or a headphone amplifier to pair with your headphones. Headphone amplifier and headphone is like a couple. You need to pick them together and you need to match them together perfectly. All right, that's all for today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you liked it, do give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions at all, do leave it a comment down below. Share it with your friends and do subscribe to Music Bliss for future videos upcoming. Hope to see you in the next one. Thanks. Peace.